My name is uh, Juan Antonio Bayona. I'm director for The Impossible. And my name is Sergio Sanchez, and I'm the writer of The Impossible. Yeah, it's funny, when, when we talk about The Orphanage, people used to say it's sort of a horror film, and now with The Impossible, uh, it's sort of a disaster movie. I mean, it's always about finding yourself lying under the story. Uh, and I think The Impossible and The Orphanage both are kind of coming-of-age stories, always with kind of a twisted thing of way, well, a twisted way of, of seeing that. I mean, if you take a look at The Orphanage, you have this woman who doesn't know how to deal with adult responsibilities. And in this film, you have these characters, these parents who felt helpless like kids and kids who need to behave like parents. And you have a central piece, which is Lucas, who is Lucas, and, and he's uh, kind of going through, through this situation that um, that for for him he's not a kid anymore after after the film finishes and not i mean i never thought about the genre yeah. i never thought about that i always thought about characters having strong characters and having strong dilemmas and, and stories to tell belen atienza who is the producer of the film who mm, found the story she heard uh, the story on the radio maria had come on uh, on a very popular radio show in spain on the third anniversary of the tsunami and she was really moved by the story, so she arranged for us to have a meeting with her. And um, there were several things. The first thing, I guess, was the, the, an immediate emotional connection with Maria and with her story. It seemed like every single element in the story had some, like, mythical resonance. It's like every element. It's like the water signifies death or the fear of death. The tree is life and it's also the father figure. Everything was like, it, it was uh, it was so simple and, and so clear and so it, it's like, it was like rooted in the subconscious somewhere and, and some of the, the lines of dialogue that she mentioned in that first meeting were so pure and beautiful that it was like a challenge to, to write something that would match that simplicity and at the same time it was like, it was very difficult because uh, you cannot do anything fake in that film or it, it, it gets spotted right away.